Who is Carrera? I was made aware of him last week. He's the author of a book called Conocer el Capital Hoy and has apparently got a significant following in the Spanish reading Marxist public. I've heard him described as a modern Bernstein, but that, as I say, is second-hand account and I can't vouch for that. The reason I'm doing this video is because his followers have been attacking the comrades of the SIBCOM group with claims that he, Carrera, has refuted the proposals that myself and Alan Cottrell put forward for planned economy. Well, what does he say? It turns out his criticism is very brief. One page out of a 280 page text. My impression was it was inconsequential and addresses points that we'd replied to well before 2022. But it's worth briefly refuting it because his arguments rest on understandings or misunderstandings of Marx that are relatively common and relevant for other people as well. In what follows, I'll show Carrera's text in white and my responses in black. His first point. He says that according to Cockshot and Cottrell, broadly speaking, the concept of value or social labour time is also used in non-market economies. Value exists in any society with a social division of labour, which must include socialism. Well, that We agree with that. that he's quoting us there. I, I couldn't find the original text he was quoting, but it seems a reasonable account. Authors such as these seem to think that the term value was coined in political economy simply to save one's breath, as it doesn't contain any more determination than being a shorter way to say social labour. Well, let's look at this. The problem is that Marx was explicit that social necessary labour time is a substance of value. It is labour time alone that is the source of value and therefore necessary labour time expended is, according to Marx, the only thing that determines value. Nothing else enters into the determination of value. Capital is not a source of value. Land is not a source of value. Next point. This is him now saying, value is the attribute of exchangeability of commodities. That is the ability they they have to reciprocally exchange their material bodies in an unnatural fashion by which the social labour materialised in them is represented in order to establish the unity of social production and consumption, said labour having been organised in a private and independent fashion. But for Cockshot and Cottrell the specific determination of co commodities is not this ability, their value, but the necessary expression of it, exchange value. problem is, the attribute of exchangeability is exchange value. Marx is explicit that things such as honour or share certificates can have exchange value without containing value. Exchange value per se does not prove the existence of value. And we nowhere speak of the specific determination of, of commodities. This is some confusion or terminology that he's introduced. And in general here, what we see is he doesn't understand the difference between value and exchange value. He thinks the ability to exchange is value. No, the ability to exchange is exchange value. In Marx's labour theory of value, value of a commodity is determined by socially necessary labour time. The exchange value, measured as price, may be above or below its value. And, as I've said before, things which have no value may also have a price. So the two concepts are quantitatively and qualitatively distinct. 
So him going on now talking about socialism. And so it doesn't matter how social labor is organized as any of its products will be exchangeable. So much that the overcoming of the capitalist mode of production by socialism cannot but reproduce this natural ability, value, its natural expression, price, and its natural place of expression, the market. Only that price will be free from its determination as exchange value in order to exchange, express itself directly as quantities of labor. Well, no. Marx and Alan Cottrell and I say the opposite. We say that in the society of directly associated producers, the products cease to be exchanged. They cease to be commodities. There is social ownership and things are not exchanged as commodities. There are no private owners exchanging commodities. He then goes on to say that we're basically anarchists. Beyond the latest socialism of the 21st century, we can see the theory of replacing money for time vouchers as espoused by the 19th century rotten anarchism of Proudhon. Well, I get accused of all sorts of things, but it's the first time I've been accused of being an anarchist. So, no. What we explain in Towards a New Socialism doesn't come from Proudhon, it comes from Marx's critique of the Gotha programme, where he says that consumption goods are distributed to workers in proportion to labour certificates. And he doesn't understand the difference between money and labour certificates. What distinguishes labour certificates from labour money, according to Marx, is that they don't circulate. If you do let them circulate, you would indeed just have money, as, as the USSR did. Instead of circulating, digital certificates are associated with the name of the person who did the work, and when a worker withdraws from goods from a communal store, the certificate is cancelled and cannot circulate. It wouldn't make any difference whether it was done digitally or it was done with a little booklet in which was recorded the hours they had worked and when they went to the communal stores these were crossed out. Or as Bellamy in the 19th century proposed on a punch card that was punched out the important point is the cancellation, not the cir no circulation. <laughs>